All right, just a few days ago, I did share some information with you guys about the new Tizen OS update released for Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. But then the update had not arrived on my phone. So here it is available now in my region and I have already updated it. Thanks to a couple of friends on the channel who informed me about this. I was kind of excited about this update, but after updating the watch, I realized it is not offering any considerable improvements or feature additions. I will tell you why. Now, as you can see here, this is a new version of Tizen OS 5.5.0.2. As for the changelog, it seems there is an improved Samsung Health function, but I did not notice any major change on this application. It looks more or less the same to me. Unfortunately, I don't have another watch here to compare with the older version of the OS. So you guys let me know if you have noticed any important improvements on Galaxy Health functions. Next one is Group Walking Challenge. This is more to do with your Samsung Health application on which you can challenge your friends and families in walking competitions. I have already made a separate video on this. If you are interested, you can check out the description for the video link. I'm not really sure if there is any feature being added to the watch to enjoy group walking challenge. I'm not able to notice anything with regard to this as well. So I'm assuming that the step count recorded from the watch will be synced with Galaxy Health application on your phone, which was anyways happening before as well. If you guys know more about it, do share your thoughts in the comment section below so that it can benefit the community. Next one is additional sleep score insights. I will perhaps make a separate video on this to show you if there is anything different in sleep score data. So stay tuned for that. Now we have reduced workout recognition time while running, rowing, elliptical training. I did turn this on and tried running. I didn't notice any considerable change here either. The next feature is about enjoying home workout with variety of fitness programs. Again, this is related to the Galaxy Health app on your phone where you can download your preferred fitness programs which will provide video guidance to perform exercises which can be synced with your watch and the data can be tracked on your watch. Recently, I made a video on this as well. Check the link in the description for that. Now coming to smart things find. Again, this was already an existing feature. You can find the location of your watch on the map which I was able to do it earlier as well. This is still not an offline find feature. So this change log is still not making sense to me, but I could be wrong here. You guys let me know what you think about it. The last one is about the hand wash application. You will have to download this app from the Galaxy Store. This is not a new application. This was already there, but now the app has been updated with an added feature. With this update, the application will automatically detect when you wash your hands and time it for about 20 seconds. It picks up the noise from the microphone to detect the hand wash. Sounds interesting, but it doesn't work that well given the slowness of this watch in doing anything. It will detect your hand wash after you are halfway through and it starts the countdown, which will actually make you wash your hands longer. This feature should have been made available long ago when the pandemic started. Anyways, we have it here. If you are interested, you can use it. You also get a simple watch face with the application, which could have been designed a lot better. Now, the only thing I liked about this update is the improved system stability. It seems like it is faster and responsive now. So that's about the update. If you find this video useful, do smash that like button. And if you are someone who wants to stay updated with Galaxy Watch, Galaxy phones and Android applications, do consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.